Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jill, this is Fiber Blues and Crafts. How are ya? So I have made two other videos. This is third because I'm pretty busy doing the painting in the she shed. So I wanted to get a few things out to you. A one on one. Uh, kind of let you know what I've been doing. So I had, let me, first of all, let me say I, I did a, a little run over to the next town over where my assignment booth is. And they're telling us that the building is selling. Now we don't know what that means yet. So I thought I'd go by there and go say hello. Well, so far we we still know that the guy that has the store next to it, he's like a sports related store and he has he sells a lot of the uniforms and stuff like that with school. So, you know, he's not going anywhere. He's doing great. And the gals that run the consignment place, they're doing fine because they have their monogramming and they do they work with him doing the monogram. So he's kind of thinking about buying the building, but they haven't come to any agreement, so we still have to wait and see. But it would be nice if they put a door between the two and then they work together because the gals have brought their monogramming stuff into the store. That way they could be there and do their monogramming while they were working in the store. So it would be nice if he bought it and then they could just have a, a go between the two and we'd know, then we'd know that it's not going anywhere. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But while I was over there, I went to my favorite little um, thrift store that has opened back up again. And I took all of the bins that were in my old beauty shop over there and a whole bunch of my stuff like perm rods and combs and yeah, they go. So I dropped those off, then went to lunch with Hubby, went by the consignment store, and then went back <laughs> and did some shopping. Now there's a lot of blankets in there that I want to rescue, but I don't have a place. Somebody recently told me that the places near me that are doing like care homes and hospitals and that kind of thing, that they're not accepting any here. So I have to ship them. And right now, I'm going to wait. So I don't think they're going anywhere. There were two or three that weren't in real bad shape. But I had thought of taking their blankets, the crochet blankets that they have over at the consignment store, taking them and buying them, washing them, and sending them. So we'll see. That's still down the road. Um, I was looking at them to see if I wanted to rescue the yarn. And there was some yarn there. Now, I could go in and I could rescue all the yarn they had, bring it home, and put it in laundry bags and wash it, and then give it away. And I thought about doing that, but I was not feeling 100% that day. So I may go back and do that. Because a lot of it is, um, it's a lot of vintage yarn. So... Anyway, I bought some other stuff. So first of all, I did like Crystal does from Bag O' Day. And I got three bags. Uh, this one, which is not a bad bag. This is a Nine West, which is a really nice bag, right? But I wanted the handles. I like these handles and I think I will probably save the grommets if I can. I'm going to see if my hubby can take these this apart for me. So that was one of them and I believe this one was a dollar. This one was 50 cents and I'm going to take all the buckles and the things that attach and I thought that handle was in pretty good shape. The bag itself, 
not so much. But I can use all of the stuff off of it. 50 cents for that one. And I like the bottom. I'm thinking I could take this bottom out and use it also. We'll see. And then this one, I really like this handle. And it attaches. This is the main reason I got it. It uses the lobster claw. I'm not crazy about this animal print, but it uses the lobster claw to attach to these little hoops. So I want to take those and this and use it on another bag. And it had a tassel. I don't even think anybody used this purse because this tassel is still on the plastic. So I can use that also. Maybe the zipper. We'll see. 50 cents. This came from, this is an Avon because it's a mark. But I really was thinking I could take the handle off and then leave the zipper in and do like um, at My Fairy Treasures, Angie Bell, she does the, puts all the lace and stuff on this and, and redoes the bag. So I thought that I might do that also. But for 50 cents, can't beat. So $2 for all that. That will be really nice for uh, reworking them. And I got a bunch of odds and ends, guys. A bunch of it. I got some of these, which are for knitting. I paid 10 cents for these. And these are nice to have. Uh, they hold your stitches when you're splitting your work for sleeves and stuff like that. And it's even got a... I paid 50 cents for it. There's, they were Susan Bates. I don't even know if this is the right thing for it, but how vintage is that? I'll use that tag too. There's that. There's these little flowers that are on, I don't know, they're on something. This was a dollar. Like a headband. And those are Velcroed in, but I want to use these flowers for mixed media. And I probably could use this headband and do something else with it. So that's two things. Then I found this little bunny that I could make an outfit for it. it I don't want to take it out. It's, it's in a bag sealed in the bag this one was a dollar it came from fabric treasures so this is kind of a I don't know I don't know who may have sold this muslin rabbit and the face has even got the blush on it. But this would be cute to make a little outfit for it. Here's a whole bunch of the findings for jewelry. Just mismatched pieces. You all see that in there? Eyelets and different stuff. These are birds little birds um, that I can use with mixed media. A whole bunch of, like for that purse to put the ruffle and stuff like that on it, there's a whole bunch of like lace and stuff. I try to go through this fairly quickly. Here's a little ghost. And it's on a pin. So that'll be great to make 
find like a, a Halloween colored yarn. Some flowers, and here's my idea with this one. See how that's on these? I can pop those off and glue those on a mixed media. There's a whole bag. I haven't even looked to see what all is in here yet. Don't know. It's like flowers, and there's a thing of beads in there. But mostly I wanted it for all these flowers because doing the mixed media to glue on in different things to make it 3D. I found a uh, a book. This one is West Craven's Fountain Society. This one's on tape, and I have the tape deck back in the back. Uh, this one is about a sinister plot to confer immortality on a select elite group of government government scientists. I found these, which are, this one is a cross stitch, and you do it as a card. A friend is worth a thousand stitches. This one is Uncle Sam. And this is a pattern to do painting. But since I got them really cheap, I'm going to use the pictures in mixed media. This one, which has got some buttons on it. It's a little pattern of some sort. This one is a Texas thing. So I think it's a transfer. This one is a transfer deal too. And I don't know, it's it's got a pattern or something inside of it. I didn't even look to see what it was. And paint, something to do with paint. Oh, it kind of got thrown in there. <laughs> But these, and these were like a dollar for all of them. The thrift store that I go to is called Pink Ladies, and it's the Hospital Auxiliary. And then I got some jewelry. I got a big pair of the hoop earrings. Just that lever back. These, which I'm going to use for the beads, purple and turquoise, they're necklaces. Sorry, they were $1.25. This one was a dollar. Crochet hooks. I've got an I or a nine. And Susan Bates, a G boy hook and an H boy hook. A dollar for those three. I'm going to start collecting those anytime I see them somewhere so that I can use them for teaching. Here is a necklace that I'm going to take apart to use this, these things. And I, I'm thinking as big as these are, these would be great to make for the purses, you know, like the zipper pulls and stuff. And these two, look how pretty these colors are. A dollar. 50 cents, a dollar 25 for this chain, and there was a whole nother basket of jewelry I didn't even get to.
So I saw a thing where you can Yeah, see, it's got different ways to do it right here. But I saw a deal where you could take this and you can use the, the circle and you can crochet into it. And then look at this. Take that off and put that on as a bling on something. Very cool for a dollar. Dollar twenty five for that. Same thing, I got this for the chain because this one has the lobster claw on this end. That was really cool for. A dollar. And this one, I'm going to use this part. This was a dollar. It's a chain. It's a sorry. It's a a cord. And I'm going to I'm going to use the cord for something else. And I'm going to take this off. And I'll be using this in like on like a book plate yeah not yarn related but craft related and I know you haven't seen me do any of this stuff yet it's coming when I get into the she shed where I have more room to spread out and do things it's coming and then yesterday I found these books at Dollar General. Draw 500 winged things for a dollar. Even if I take this apart and use it in the mixed media, these are so cool. And they kind of show you, I thought it was going to show how to draw it, but it's how to practice it. It gives you ideas on little flying things. Like I said, even if I take it out and stick it in the mixed media, that's cool for a dollar. And I found this one, which is the Sibley Birds Coloring Field Journal. So this man writes field journals for birds. And I have a couple of different field journals. So I like to know the birds that we have here on the farm. Like we have the scissor tail. It's called um, the scissor tail flycatcher. And when the scissor tail comes into our area in spring, we always know that that's like a telltale sign that winter is over, that there won't be any more cold weather. And so I keep track of some of that. It's got colored pictures of them. And then you can draw them. You can color them. And it has their names and stuff. And it's a hardback. So for $3, that was nice. This one was $1. And it is Paris Street Style. And it's a soft, but it's got it's got the strap to close it. And it's got all kinds of this is always kind of hard to show you. Coloring pages for fashion. And there's some really cute girls. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And these girls are gonna be great focal points. Dresses, shoes, buildings. These could even be photocopied. Oh, it'd be so pretty. Put into mixed media. 
if I ever have time to color all the things I've got. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you today, except for, okay. I have made a washcloth. This is the grandma's washcloth, except I do my, I have been enjoying this, doing this without putting the little hole right in the side. And now I'm doing one. And this is the, I love this yarn. I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm doing one in stockinette. It's the same concept, except you do stockinette, which is knit this side and purl the back side. And I've just started my decreases. And I did the decreases in one way, and I didn't like it, so I have to take it back and do the decreases this other way. So we're going to see how that second half looks when I get done. And then I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to do this one and how to do this one. And these would be great beginner knitting videos. Now the... Let me turn my fan on. It is starting to get hot, y'all. Okay, the Zelda shawl, I took it out, started over, had to take it out again, started again. I took it all the way out the first time. The second time I took it down to where I added the second color. And now I added the second color and it added the third color. This is black is my third color. So that is where I am now. And now it's looking correct. So I'm not going to say any more about that until I do some more, but my dyslexic brain, it's just not behaving. It's not, uh, it's not letting me see what I need to be seeing. So I have to really sit down and almost not listen to anything or watch anything when I'm doing that until I get a rhythm going. And then I move forward and I because I'm having to count each row specifically in a certain way and make sure that I'm doing it because it's just not clicking. But I'm not going to let it be. And then I had one other thing that I did that I hadn't shown you guys and I showed it on, a, on my live not long ago. Let's see if I can find it. Because I did not show you. Uh, hang on. Got a piece here. No, don't leave me. Here it is. <laughs> Sorry. That's going to be the shot that YouTube gives me because it's always at the top of my head. So I made the headband like a do-rag. And I showed this in my live, but I wanted you guys to see it because it's you can see it so much better here. And a lot of people you guys did not see the live. So I took one of the headbands that I got from the dollar store and I just did two stitches in each one of these holes. It went all the way around and did single crochet and then went back and started doing the granny. And so this is a child's headband. And it goes on like that and their hair is up underneath like a bandana. And then I made a little shawl to match it. And this is two skeins of Yarn Bee Sweet Delight 
which is an anti-pilling DK. No, this one's a, a worsted. And I love the colors in it. I think it turned out really, really pretty. So now it's a matching set that I can sell. And that is all. It's all that's been happening. I've been doing a little knitting on my hubby's blanket when we watch movies at night before we fall asleep and not finish the movies. He has finished putting the hallway on the she shed and he has been putting the insulation and everything so that it's um, airtight and sealing everything up. And so I will have some more videos coming soon of our progress there. Uh, the reveal on the color will be in a couple of days, so stay tuned to that. <clears throat> but most of my time has been out in the she shed getting it, painting it, and having fun out there. <laughs> so I haven't got a whole lot of anything else done. So yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing, and have fun today. See y'all later.